Hi boys and girls, Miss Lauren here and Mrs. Bear. And today we are going to answer some questions. This is a segment I like to call Ask Miss Lauren. All right, thank you so much for sending in your videos. Um, I love seeing your faces and hearing your sweet voices asking me some questions. So let's get into it. Our first video. Hi, Miss Lauren, I have a question for you. Why did God make this world and us? I, I think I know why he made us, but I don't know why he made this world. I don't know why he made trees. I hope you know that answer. Hi, Bill. Thanks so much for that question. That's a really thoughtful question. You are a very smart young boy, and I love it. So God created this earth kind of as a creative project. Do you know how sometimes when you're doing things and you're working throughout the day and you want to be creative in what you're making? Well, that's what God did. He wanted to be creative and so he made the earth around us. And once he made the earth, he decided, hmm, I should probably have someone that can take care of this down there. So God created man and woman and that's why he gave God gave us the responsibility of taking care of the earth. I hope that answers your question. Thanks. That's Miss Lauren. Um, Miss Lauren, um, I, I went, I'm waiting for my birthday to show up in the ball to open. Hi, Nathan. Thank you so much for your comment. I see that you are waiting for your birthday to come and you want your pool to open. Oh, is that so cool? You know what? I would love for the pool to open too. And birthdays are just the best. Mine is in the month of October. And as anybody that knows me will tell you, I celebrate all month long. Birthday month. Happy birthday, Nathan. I'm Miss Lauren. I'm Penny. Um, do you know why God made most woodpeckers with red heads? What's your favorite wild bird? Oh, Penny, thank you so much for your question. Mrs. Bear, wasn't that a great question? Yes, very smart. Okay, why do woodpeckers have red heads? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think I found the exact answer, but I did quite a bit of research. I went outside and looked at some woodpeckers first. I tried to ask some of them, but they wouldn't answer my questions. They just flew away. I went online on the internet and looked at um, lots of resources like National Geographic, birds on uh, outside.org or something like that. Anyway, what I came up with is that a lot of woodpeckers have red heads. Some of them are male, most of them are males, but sometimes the females have red heads too. Hmm, okay, because sometimes it's for mating, right? So that the males can attract the females. But with the females having it too, then I thought, hmm, well, I wonder if it's so that it helps them find the food better. That didn't seem to be right either. So I don't know exactly why woodpeckers started having red heads, but I will tell you that some woodpeckers that are close, they look very similar. The reason why is it's called, I believe it's pronounced mimicry. And that is when one bird species that tries to look like another bird species so that they could warn off predators. So a smaller woodpecker um, gets the same feather pattern of a larger and maybe more dominant woodpecker so that um, their predators don't try and attack them. Isn't that cool? I thought that was pretty cool. Um, your other question was, what's my favorite wild bird? Well, I will tell you, since we've been home a lot more, we've been looking out our windows more. And my son spotted the other day for the first time in our yard, not one, but two cute little bluebirds. And as you can see here in the picture, it's called a Western Bluebird. And they're so sweet and cute and fluffy and this bright vivid blue that I just had never seen before. And I immediately fell in love. So now that's my new favorite wild bird. Hi mommy, what's your 15th favorite color? Hi Simone, thank you for your question, honey. <laughs> My 15th favorite color. Oh wow, that's a lot of colors. Can you believe it? Well, I will tell you. My 15th favorite color. I went through and used all my fingers and some of my toes to figure it out. But my 15th favorite color is hot pink. Miss Moore, I have a question for you. 
Why did the dog go across the road? Bye. Hi, James. Oh, I love it. Why did the dog go across the road? Mrs. Bear, do you know why? No. Hmm, maybe to get to a dog bone? I don't know. You'll have to tell me. <laughs> Thanks, James. Hi, Jack. Thank you for your question. Jack is my, my youngest. Um, how did I, how do I know everything? That's a good question. I will say, I tell my children that I know everything. And, well, God made me a very curious person. I went to school, all right? I went to college and got a degree in accounting. Then I went to more college and I got my MBA, which is a master's in business. And I'm a really good listener. So when people talk, I listen and I learn things. I love to read and that helps you to learn stuff. And there's this really cool thing. When you become a mom, you learn everything there is about, especially about your kids. So it's just the way God made moms. Really cool and really special. So that's it. Those are all the questions I received and I hope you liked the answers that I gave you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.